Hello. Hello! Welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt. And I'm Izzy. And today we are at Adam Henson's Cotswold Farm Park. Never been here before. Nope. So Adam Henson, he's that famous TV farmer on things like Country File. And this is his own farm. And they've obviously diversified to turn it into kind of a yeah, park farm where you can go and see the animals. We are actually here at lambing time. Yeah, so really excited to see if we can see the lambs. And that's obviously sort of February time. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out reviews all across the country. So, you ready to go? Let's go. So we always like to show you the map of everywhere we go. And this is a pretty big looking place. So we're currently down here by the entrance and the big restaurant, the Ox Shed. There's loads of stuff around. So you've got tractor school, discovery barn, animal barn, huge great big area for all the animals. And I can see donkeys, sheep, goats, pigs, cows. Looks like to be a good selection of kids playgrounds as well. So tons to explore. Tickets for adults are 11 95 uh, kids 4 to 15 years old are 10 95 toddlers are 6 95 and babies are free to enter. We've just entered, we've got a wristband, much like a festival, and we spent an extra, was it £1.50 yeah. for a little bag of sort of animal food. I guess we can well, find out who we, what we can feed that to. There's playgrounds behind you as soon as you come in. Loads of stuff for kids. Yeah, and we're going to go over to the lambing barn because I think there's a talk today. Oh so yes, and they, we're going to see that. apparently they had uh, twin lambs this morning. So yeah, definitely go and find those. It is worth noting that the ground is kind of compacted dirt and gravel. So I reckon if it was particularly rainy, yeah, you might need welly boots. We've got ours on as we thought we were going to a farm, we'll wear welly boots. Here we are just going into the animal barn where I think they've got all the sheep that are giving birth to lambs. They mentioned that there'd been twins born and just looking at this sign it says 18th of the second which is today at 12 p.m which is about 40 minutes ago something like that so it seems like maybe these twin lambs here are really really fresh so we also get some lambs that come out like superman just here so they have that one leg forwards but the other leg stuck backwards and the sheep can have six lambs also herself, which is not very common and not very good because she's not able to feed all six. So how did you find that talk? Yeah, really informative, very well spoken, yeah, really good. Yeah, loads of information sort of going through the whole process of lambing. Um, explaining kind of the different stages and kind of how they keep them in these pens and for what reasons. Really good, definitely worth coming to. Isabel, what's one of the main rules about sheep? No kissing the animals, all right? No, better not then. <laughs> we've just been to the lambing barn and now we're going into this adventure barn. There's some videos and there's a bit of a cafe in here as well. So in this adventure barn, they have got a little cafe area called The Shed. Really just serving teas, coffees, soft drinks, hot chocolates, things like that. I think they've got food and there's some paninis by the looks of it. There's loads of stuff in this barn. We can't really film in here because there's kids everywhere, but there's like a soft play, this big kind of huge sand pit area with climbing frame, and then a bit where you can drive sort of little tractors around. It's really, really, really good. Yeah. Now we've left the adventure barn and we're in the discovery barn. Yes. Yeah. Appears to be goats, pygmy goats. Yeah. So Jeremy, Missy, Uriel and Bree are in here. So, so far, Sienna's favourite animals are definitely the pygmy goats. They've got kind of areas where you can stroke the animals. And there's a big giant rabbit here. You can just sit there and stroke. Amazing. Seems very chilled out about being stroked because he's just fast asleep. It's quite good, the interaction. And a good place for kids to learn. Really good that you can just come in this barn and stroke everything. There's plenty of hand washing at facilities if you're worried about that. But there's goats, rabbits, guinea pigs, loads of stuff. 
So there are a few cafe options here, including the big cafe near the entrance and then a few little ones scattered around. Uh, but today, well, they've got one of the ones next to the, the main restaurant. It isn't open, but they've still opened up the kind of gazebo sort of area. Really nice furniture in it for people to have picnics, and it? it's been really popular. Loads of people bringing picnics with them. Ah, uh, so in this heritage breeds trail, here are things or animals you can feed. So some tell you they, if they've got special diets or whatever, don't feed them with, with your bag of, of food. But there's signs up everywhere tell you exactly what you can and can't feed. So that's really useful. This stuff reminds me exactly the same kind of food that you got at um, West Midlands Safari Park. The stuff that you take in your car and then it makes a massive mess everywhere. <laughs> This is the place to come on top of a watchtower in, in the middle of a yeah. very windy day. I mean, it's pretty nice up here. Yeah, you, you get, get some great views. You can see all the kind of cattle and sheep. It's, yeah, it's good. There's loads of stuff here. You can really see the kids' playground and those great big bouncy cushion things in the background. They are super popular and you can understand why. So what I would say is this place doesn't really rival like a zoo or anything like that. It's, it's no safari park, but for what is it? 12, 13 pounds entry for an adult or something like that. I think really kids are going to love it. And that's what it is aimed towards. If you've got a kid that's kind of three to 10, Something like that, yeah. they are probably going to absolutely love this place. And I think it's good for the farm and just like inspirational towards kids and the future and the future of farming. It's like very interesting. Yeah. So that's our day over here at Cotswold Farm Park. What did you think? I've had a great day, yeah. um, a great afternoon. We've been here a couple of hours. Um, there's lots to see and we've really enjoyed it. I think it made it special because we came at lambing season. Yeah, I so, always say so. That's kind of one of their events that kind of yeah. they have throughout the year um, and probably one of their most popular ones as well. Um, yeah, I think don't come expecting a big zoo. It is kind of a, a little place. You come here for a couple of hours. Kids can run riot in all of those um, play areas. You come and see the lambs, come and feed the goats and the sheep. It's a really good little afternoon out. Cafes and restaurants everywhere. Plenty of chances for mum and dad to get a cup of coffee and a cake or an ice cream for the kids. There's loads of that. Oh, I think it's really worth coming here. I'm quite surprised. There was always a few sort of mixed reviews because I think some people maybe come here expecting a big, great big place. But I think for the price. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I definitely recommend coming here. Right, with that being said, we're off home. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.